The Coon Rapids Police Department is proud to have its second canine team that was just recently added to the force. Billy the German Shepherd and Bill Hamas his handler. They're a dynamic duo that not only patrol the streets of Coon Rapids, they respond to canine service calls throughout Anoka County. Steve Antis has more on the fundraising effort behind the dog and why he's such an important tool in fighting crime. Hi. Stand. Nowhere else does the human-canine connection get put to the test more than between a canine handler and a police dog in the line of duty. Phew. That's been awesome. Uh, I love having them. Up. Up. This three-year-old German Up. Shepherd came all the way from the Czech Phew. Republic last March to become the second canine unit in Coon Rapids. His handler, Officer Bill Hamas Jr., is new to the canine patrol. This first-time handler beat out a competitive field of Coon Rapids police officers for the job. We're obviously put into to very dangerous situations and the city is trusting that we can make split decisions uh, really rapidly. This partnership was made possible through a community-wide effort that started in 2013. You see, the police department couldn't afford to buy a new police dog, so under the direction of Police Chief Brad Wise, they turn to raising funds through the Coon Rapids Crime Prevention Association. It's a, a nonprofit that's been set up specifically to provide for police equipment that's um, maybe not necessarily available through the city budget. They really were the main people that started the ball rolling. Sergeant Ben Bouch, who is in charge of the police department's canine program, budgeted nearly $18,000 to purchase the dog and for training. Upon launch, a flood of small donations started coming in from city residents. The Coon Rapids Lions Club even held a Chili Challenge fundraiser, along with five other local service organizations and the police and fire departments, which netted over $1,000. It was great to see all, all the, the citizens and the civic organizations getting together and supporting our, our co program like that. So I thought, boy, this, this would be a good time. And then there was this man, Coon Rapids resident Kurt Zibikowski, as a past contributor to the Coon Rapids Crime Prevention Association, he saw something special in the canine project. I read about it in the ABC paper and uh, thought this would be a good opportunity to uh, help my community and at the same time honor my father. Kurt's father was William Zibikowski, a local businessman who had a deep appreciation for law enforcement. Kurt thought the canine project would be a unique way to honor his father, a way to give back to the community and keep his father's memory alive. Seeing if I could name, name the new canine, Billy, which was my pet name for my dad. So he called Sergeant Bouch. He said that he wanted to name Billy, the dog Billy, and he would be willing to donate $10,000. Sergeant Bouch checked in with the police chief. We thought it was a great name for a police canine to begin with. And uh, basically the name of the dog was chosen before we had a dog, even before we had a handler. From beginning to end, it took two hours for Sergeant Bouch to get back to Kurt. He said, I'll be down, and he came down half hour later probably and had a check in hand and, and donated the money to us. And it's a very tangible way for him to honor his father because we'll, of course, never forget Billy, the dog, or the story of Billy either. It'll be a part of this police department forever. And although the new canine arrived with some police training from the Czech Republic, Billy still needed to go through a 12-week training course with his new handler to be certified to work the streets. Yeah, I was very impressed by how Billy did. Coon Rapids officer and canine handler Mark McDonough has been training police dogs in Minnesota for the past 20 years under the authority of the U.S. Police Canine Association. He's an extraordinary tracking animal, I mean extraordinary, uh, and he has a lot of patrol skills that are on the high, we like to say on the high level. These dogs are being trained to find things like narcotics and missing people. McDonough says that dogs, like people, have different personalities. Some are very bold, some are very sensitive, some are social, some are not. So it's kind of actually fun to kind of, you know, train different aspects of dogs and different personalities of dogs because it, you can't train them all the same. The same goes for the handlers who also have a lot to learn. You know, some are really athletic and they can get onto it right away I mean, because it's a very physically demanding thing. There's a lot of stress involved too because there's just a natural competitiveness between people. Officer Hamas and Billy successfully completed the training program on June 21st. 
Kurt Zibikowski was invited to attend the graduation ceremony and a chance to meet the canine team he so generously helped finance. I think uh, the people who contributed can be proud of of what's taken place and that we have this dog. Chief Brad Wise formally presented Billy the Canine and his handler, Officer Bill Hamas, at the July 1st City Council meeting. He's the second police dog currently on the force. Bill and Billy made it to some of the neighborhood parties on the night to unite. They got a chance to meet residents and show off the specially equipped vehicle, which was modified for Billy. He enjoys car rides. Canines in Anoka County are a shared resource and as such often work on some of the most serious crimes. We've had uh, one person recently uh, surrender in Fridley with the sight of Billy coming. And it's just another tool for us and it's the most effective tool that I've ever seen in all the years I've been a policeman. Because you know uh, dogs do things that men shouldn't have to do. Bill and Billy patrol the streets working 10 hour shifts. For the canine it can get pretty boring riding in a squad car. Usually I'll lay some uh, training tracks a couple times late that night, you know, when the calls are slow. Um, I'll do some training with him or something. Uh, so it stays fun for him. Another part of the job that's fun is doing canine demonstrations like this one at last year's senior safety camp. And there are more requests for demos from this dynamic duo, but they'll take it all in stride. After all, they'll have to work together for roughly the next eight years. The dog is a, a great presence for the sake of the job he's asked to do. He's gotten a lot better uh, with training here, so um, I think he's really improving the longer we go. I'm Steve Antis reporting for City Connections. Thanks, Steve. By the way, Sergeant Bouch says he's never seen a financing campaign like this one, where 100% of the funding for the dog came from donations from the public. So the police department extends a very big thank you to everyone that was involved.